It's the WP Minute. Support independent WordPress news like this. Join the Slack membership or purchase a classified listing at the WPMinute.com slash support. And now a word from our sponsor. Hi, this is Rob Howard, the publisher of Master WP. As you know, one of our missions is to bring lots of new voices into WordPress and tech. That's why we're excited to announce our new Master WP workshop library with the goal of helping WordPress fans become WordPress experts. We've got a lineup of live and recorded sessions coming up in fall 2022. Check it out at workshops.masterwp.com and use the code WPMinute10 to get 10% off your registration. We'll see you there. You know how it goes. Everything I mentioned here will be linked up in the newsletter and the blog post. Check out the WPMinute.com for the links. Let's get into that news this week. What's on tap for WordPress Core in 2023? Project Executive Director Josefa hayden Champo C recently outlined some big picture goals. By design, the post is light on detail. hayden Champo C says the list represents a view from 10,000 feet. Perhaps the biggest item mentioned is the completion of Phase 2 of the Gutenberg project, which focuses on customization of block and site editors. From there, the project will begin exploring phase three, where collaborative functionality will be on the table. Can't wait for that. Other areas of interest include improvements to media management, adding Openverse Search in WordPress Core, and the return of WordPress Community Summit. The goals are ambitious, and there is a lot of work to be done. With that, Hayden Chumpo C also put out a call for volunteers. Links you shouldn't miss this week for WordPress product makers. Identifying a target audience can be challenging. There is often difficulty in balancing new features, support, and marketing. After a few years of catering to publishers of all sizes, myself included, (laughs) newsletter glue Leslie Sim has decided to train her product's focus on newsrooms and media companies. In a blog post, Sim expanded the reasons behind the shift and what it means for current customers. The folks at Awesome Motive had made their second major acquisition this month. This time around, they've purchased Thrive Themes, known for Thrive Architect and Thrive Theme Builder products. The company also touches on LMS automation and marketing niches. Uh, Look for a more long-form interview uh, with me and Syed Balki here soon. WordFence has released the annual State of WordPress Security Report. Takeaways include a higher number of reported vulnerabilities, with while fewer of them were categorized as critically unauthenticated. Critical unauthenticated. One constant is the need to keep your WordPress installation up to date. Neglect is still a huge factor when it comes to security. Let's dive into the grab bag where we take a look at some of other interesting topics contributed by our members right in the Slack channel. The WordPress end-user documentation area known as Help Hub has a fresh new look. Speaking of fresh new looks, version 20.0 Yoast SEO features a completely redesigned settings UI. If you're using LearnPress LMS plugin, you'll want to update to the latest version. Security firm PatchStack has detailed multiple vulnerabilities in previous versions. Equalize Digital have announced a webinar that will demonstrate how to use the NVDA and VoiceOver screen reader apps for website accessibility testing. The event takes place on Thursday, February 16th, 2023 from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. If you're interested in accepting cryptocurrency on your WooCommerce store, the Do the Woo podcast explored this topic in a recent episode. WordCamp Europe is looking for speakers. The event will take place in Athens, Greece from June 8th through the 10th, 2023. Speaker applications will be accepted through February 5th. Stranger Studios, developer of Paid Memberships Pro, have made an investment in Lifter LMS. Separate announcements were made by Stranger Studios' Jason Coleman and Chris Badgett of Lifter LMS. Also, stay tuned here for an interview around that topic. WordPress developer Chris Weigman makes a case for why WordPress should embrace the Fediverse. Recently, those using third-party apps to access Twitter found that they no longer work. It turns out the social media platform has quietly banned them. We've got some new members this week, Syed Balki. Follow Syed Balki on Twitter. And Anne Hennigar, thank you and welcome to our new members supporting us at the WP Minute, where you can do that too, the wpminute.com slash support to join. We have a new video this week. I'm taking a look at the Transistor podcast hosting platform. That's where the WP Minute and the Matt Report are now hosted. If you're looking for the pros and cons of Transistor, check out that video. If you're looking to start your podcast, check out that platform, Transistor.fm. Thanks to all the members who shared these links today. Nate Finch, Amber Hines, Daniel Schutzmith, Leslie Sim, and good old Brad Williams. Thanks to you, dear listener and viewer, for tuning in to your favorite five minutes of WordPress news every Wednesday. You can support independent content like this by purchasing us a digital coffee at the WPMinute.com. 
Com. Join the membership, join the Link Squad. And by the way, hey, Syed Balki joined. There's a lot of conversation happening there around Thrive, pricing, the acquisition, what went into it. Get involved. Go to the WPMinute.com slash support. That's it for today's episode. If you enjoyed it, please share it wherever you do social media and jump on the mailing list at the WPMinute.com. <laughs> <laughs>